Hello, everybody. Hi, I am Mrs. Arnold, and today we are going to be reading from Nizella in our reading comprehension lesson. And so at this time, I'm going to share my screen with you. And let me get it organized here. So today our read is a government and economics um, topic. And our title of our article is Big Question, Why is Money Green? This sounds very interesting, doesn't it? So after we're done with our reading, then I'm gonna to go to activities section and then we are going to complete a four question quiz. After the quiz, please have some paper and pencil handy so that you can um, jot down our exit question and we'll end with the exit question. And you should be provided worksheet but cottage staff, if you don't get those, if for some reason you don't get the worksheets, then students, please write your answers for the quiz um, on that same paper with your exit question as well. And um, cottage staff, you will also be provided an answer key for your own use. Here um, is the money, 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 money. A oh, bunch of dollar bills. So we begin our reading. Why is money green? Mark, Merrick P, age 12, from Dorchester, Massachusetts. We use money all the time, but have you ever wondered why it's green? And I can't say I wonder about the color. Maybe when I was younger, I was always a very curious child. So we, um, as a student of the history of U.S. money, I study how people understand the purpose of money in their lives and how people feel about why, about the way the government produces it. Learning the history of money has helped me answer questions people have about why it comes in certain colors and not other colors. For example, why is U.S. money green instead of orange like it is in New Zealand? And we learned something. I didn't realize New Zealand, Zealand had orange money. And well, let me make sure. I thought he is 12 years old. Yeah. Merrick P., age 12. Why green? While our money is not completely green, it has lots of green ink on it. The green ink on paper money protects against Counterfeiting. Counterfeiting is the process of making fake money that tricks people and the government into thinking that it is real money. Counterfeiting is dangerous because it causes the value of the real money to go down. If this happens, people need more dollar bills and therefore more money to buy things. This special green ink is just one tool that the government uses to protect us from counterfeiters. Also, there was lots of green ink for the government to use when it started printing the money we have now. The green color also does not fade or decompose easily. When U.S. money was different colors, in colonial America, the co colonies printed their own currency for several reasons. One reason was the colonists often did not have enough coins to buy food and household items. Colonial money was often intended to give, co give colonists a way to buy what they needed or wanted. This money was initially tanned with black or red ink. During the American Revolution, the Continental Congress printed money that was also a tan color called Continental do Dollars. Just like the green color, of our paper money today, the Continental Congress used a specific kind of material that only it could buy in order to prevent counterfeiting. The paper was made of cloth, sometimes silk and insane glass. Sometimes silk, yeah, and insane glass, which is somewhat see-through and made from fish air bladders. 
from the fish air bladders. Okay. So here is some of that money, the 10 and the black writing, continental dollars. What is that one? Says? Yes. After the revolution, the US government didn't did, didn't print any paper money for a long time after the American Revolution, since Congress believed that Americans would trust coins more than paper money. Okay. People had, people no longer trusted paper money, largely because too much counterfeit money existed during the revolution era, that was during the revolution, besides gold and silver coins, and besides, gold and silver coins were trustworthy because they were made of valuable metals. Congress eventually passed a law called the Legal Tender Act of 1862, allowing the federal government to print paper money. The government began printing money again because the government was struggling to pay for the Civil War. Both the Union and the Confederacy printed their own money, and both sides used green ink, partly because it made counterfeiting more difficult. Mon money printed by the Union came to be known as greenbacks. Greenbacks. Surprised it wasn't green books, but greenbacks. Okay. There's Washington one dollar. There's another one, legal tender. $1. Okay, today our money is green because the government has no real reason to change the color. The government is able to produce enough of it for people to use, can, for people to use, can protect against counterfeiting. We have to read this over, that doesn't make sense. The government is able to produce enough of it for people to use, can protect against counterfeiting and make sure that we can trust our money to remain valuable. Okay. So, this was Jonah Estes, is a PhD student at American University. He is studying early US political and economic history. So, okay, this is John Estes article. Oh, I guess he's the author. I don't know what's up here about this. Okay, Jonah and Why is Money Green? Who is Merrick P, age 12, Dorchester, Massachusetts. Okay. They both, we know, has something to do with the article. So we will leave that there and that completes our questions, uh, well, our reading portion. And now we are beginning our uh, quiz and our question number one. Which of the following most accurately summarizes how Americans felt about paper money between the American Revolution and Civil War? And the Civil War, A, they behave that they believe that paper money could be a useful tool to help the government pay for important initiatives. They B, they distrusted the use of paper money because there was rampant counterfeiting, counterfeiting, uh, rampant counterfeiting during the American Revolution. C, they encouraged the use of paper money because the United States had experienced a shortage of coins. D, they dislike paper money because frequent changes to the color of the ink made it confusing to use. So I will let you reflect on this one. And what we're going to do is um, you can pause the video. You can, I'll give you some time to either pause or answer. And um, once you have answered, we will collectively go over the questions and get our answers together. And so here are all your options.
Okay, and let's review together. So, which of the following most accurately summarizes how Americans felt about paper money between the American Revolution and the Civil War? We know this answer is B because we read they distrusted paper money. So our correct answer is B, they distrusted, distrusted the use of paper money because there was rampant counterfeiting during the American Revolution. And let's show our answer, B. And there we have it. Our next question, which of the following ideas did the author develop the least in this article about the color of money? A, the color of paper currency in the United States helps the money retain its value. B, certain colors of ink can help to reduce the incidences of counterfeiting. C, the color of money in New Zealand was decided on to make it distinct from US dollars. Or D, green ink has advantages that allow paper money to be used for longer periods of time. And here, let you reflect on that one. The following idea is that the author developed the least, not the more, but the least in this article about the color of the money. And here are all our options. Okay, so which of these um, ideas did the author develop the least in the article about the color of the money? We know A, B, and D were developed the most, so we eliminate those, and that leaves us with C as our correct answer. The color of money in New Zealand was decided on to make it distinct from U.S. dollars. That was not stated. It was just stated that um, New Zealand's money is orange. And America's, uh, that's why they don't use colorful money. They stick with the green. So our correct answer is C and show our answer. And there we have it, C. We go on to question number three. Read the following, or read the last three paragraphs in the article. What is the most likely most likely reason the author includes these paragraphs in the conclusion of the article. A, they articulate the main differences between the paper money used by the Union and that used by the Confederacy. B, they explain the various ways that paper money has evolved since the Civil War. C, they describe how the United States was able to increase public trust in paper currency or D, they provide reasons that the United States has paper currency. They provide reasons that the United States has paper currency that is a specific color. And so let you reflect on that. And here are all our options. The most, what's the most likely reason he included the paragraphs in the conclusion of the article? Here are the rest of our options. Okay, and so let's review. Um, read the last three paragraphs in the article and what's the most likely reason that the author included the last two paragraphs or last three in the conclusion of the article. 
So we know throughout the article, we are talking about the reason money is green. So the last three paragraphs are included. The correct answer is D, because they provide reasons that the United States has paper currency that is a specific color. Excuse me. So our correct answer is D, and let's show our answer, and there we have it. Our last quiz question. What purpose is served by including in the article examples of materials that paper money can be made out of? Is it A, it emphasizes that the Continental Congress had limited options when it started to print paper money? B, it provides a legal, uh, it provides a reason that people generally find coins to be more trustworthy than paper money. Or C, it suggests that using rare materials has always been a method to discourage counterfeiting. Or D, it reveals that the materials used for paper money have been consistent throughout American history. Let you reflect on that and then come up with your answer. And here are all the options. Okay, so let's review. Uh, collectively review and answer. What purpose is served by including in the article examples of materials that paper money can be made out of? Our correct answer is C, because it suggests that using rare materials has always been a method to discourage counterfeiting, a big topic that we discuss in this article and main reason why money is green to discourage counterfeiting. So our correct answer is C, let's show our answer. And there we have it, that completes our quiz. And let's talk about money, big questions. Why is money green? So exit question, I would like to ask you, what kind of things do you do with money, with your money? What do you like to spend it on? Do you, or even do you save it? Do you like to save it? Um, cookie jar maybe for a rainy day. And so if you can jot down a few sentences and just elaborate a little bit on what you do with your money. And uh, I will deeply appreciate you sharing that. And once you have completed all of your work, can you please pass it up to Carter staff? Carter staff, once you have collected all work from all students, can you please take it to the PBX? admin building and I appreciate your continued support. Students, thank you today for another reading comprehension lesson with Mrs. Arnold and we will be together again soon on the next, our next learning adventure. Until then, you guys be well and stay safe. Have a great rest of your day.